What's going on, people? Quick video. Um, I got a question. Why is there a cons like some media narrative for Bill Belichick to be in the next Atlanta Falcons head coach? That will be a disaster. Because you know what's going to happen when he's going to come in. He's going to come in here and want to remove Terry Fontenot or put Terry Fontenot in another position because he's going to want to do everything. I, I don't understand why people are making this argument in the media. Now, I don't know if any of these content creators on YouTube are making it, but that it would be, I ain't going to say it would be a disaster from a football standpoint, but do you guys, like, as fans, do we have some, you know, dignity? You know, do we have some type of shame? You're talking about the man who orchestrated or who helped orchestrate the 28-3 debacle. You want him as a here as a coach and or possibly at a higher level position? How bad do you want to win? I mean, just let's just think about it real quick. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. What if we did win anything with Coach Belichick? How would that feel? How, would you feel cool about that? Is it really win at all costs? You gotta understand, this is the biggest. Well, well, I ain't gonna say the biggest, but it's one of the most significant collapses in in football history. We were a part of that. We were embarrassed by this man and his team. There would be no reason for this guy to be the head coach. That's one person, if I was off the blank, I would scratch him off the list immediately. And like, 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 even for the owner, you have no shame. <laughs> it's like, I know you want to win, but with that guy? Uh, and, and just so happened, what if he does come here and it don't work out? It, you see how bad things are with the Patriots right now. What if he bring that side of Bill Belichick? What if that part of Bill Belichick comes here? What if that particular Bill Belichick to come here? It would be a disaster. It would be more trolling on our team. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I don't understand why this is a narrative to begin with. The only thing is we'll be in the, we'll be, be getting more embarrassed. It will be more of a... Uh, uh, the butt of all jokes if this man comes here. Do y'all understand when they won the Super Bowl that year, they put 283 diamonds on that Super Bowl ring? Look, I, look, listen. If he's a coach, I don't even know what to say because it's like, I, I look, I don't want to win. It, I, I don't want to win in that fashion. I don't, I, I don't care if he's capable of winning Super Bowls. I don't want him to be a Super Bowl champion in this franchise. Not after what happened to us. It, 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 it's unbelievable that the media will... See, the media is doing this probably just to, you know, make fun of the team. Because it's bad enough we're already the butt of all jokes every draft, every Super Bowl, ever since what happened. You see what happened to the guy who called the pick at the draft that on last year? They tried to make fun of us then. I mean, do you guys have no shame? You don't you have any dignity? I mean, you just want to be embarrassed. I don't get it. Look, I'm a no. No to Bill Belichick, period. You're going to lose Terry Fontenot in the, in, in the process. That's not even, that's, I mean, it's bad enough what he's going through, perceptive-wise, what it looks like. You bring him in, it's just going to be even worse. I hear a lot of Todd Munkin's name is out there. Now, I, I'm not against that. Todd Munkin, Eric Bieniemy, Jim Harbaugh, Ben Johnson. Cool, but not, not Bill Belichick. No, absolutely not. It's ridiculous, man. Why would they, the media ain't, but the media, this, well, I'll tell you the media. I, I, I'm out of here, man. I, I just wanted to say that. No to Bill Belichick. Absolutely not. It's an embarrassment if we do it. It'd be even worse if we win, and it'd even be even worse if we lose with him. It's just, it, I'm out, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. I'm out. Peace.